A few years ago, I became a mother for the first time, an immersive new reality. I'm a science journalist at the BBC, and I've spent over a year researching the science behind how motherhood changes us and why this change can feel so stark and overwhelming. I was intrigued when I came across these intimate diaries about the experiences of new motherhood, written by a Dutch doctor in the 1980s. Her words struck a chord, even three decades later. I had a strong drive to, to, to do something and to be able to fulfill that. Almost everything changes during this time and I think women aren't fully prepared for that. Yeah, maybe the maternal brain is a bit misunderstood. There is the orchestra of the brain activation. The way society looks upon you changes hugely. Guilt doesn't necessarily need to be intrinsically intertwined with the experience of motherhood. I now live in the UK, but I was born in the Netherlands, so I travelled back to my home country with my two children in tow to meet Dr. Marge van den Einden, the author of those diaries. You wrote a lot of diaries during your early time yes. as a mother. Well, can you tell me why you were writing about um, motherhood? Yes, right, why I think it's a way to express myself because life was changing rapidly and I suddenly realised, wow, this is really um, life changing. I've been longing so much to become a pregnant, but it wasn't possible. I had to finish my study, uh, do my work in a hospital, so it was not possible. And then and I had never really dealt with children. It was a way to reflect and to see how I could reflect on this new part of myself. It's just totally different. Motherhood is emotional and can be difficult. For years, studying it has been somewhat ignored. These incredible academics are part of a growing body of research that's trying to correct this to understand why motherhood can be such a momentous, joyous struggle. Studying the maternal brain is immensely fascinating. If the role of parenting is really important for children's development, it is really important for us to understand that how we become a parent. We need to get that balance a bit more right between not wanting to scare women, but also giving the information that they need in order to be fully prepared for what's happening. And I think realising that and seeing how things are different within different cultures is just fascinating. I think we need to radically reimagine the way that we understand what it means to be a mother and a father um, in our society today. We can do different and better by mothers. Am I already doing not enough for you? I'm pregnant, I'm still working. How am I going to do it when you're here? Can I do a training? Difficult for me to be a doctor and to be a mum. How to combine that? I became a mother 31 years later yeah. than or 30 years after you became a mother and I had those same feelings. Why do you think that we had such similar experiences? The reality is that motherhood is is common uh, at the same time that it's also a source of inequality in day-to-day -day life. Though motherhood looks different wherever you look, we begin with changes that are common to many mothers, as researcher Saskia van Schaik at Utrecht University explains. There's obviously the physiological change. So you know, your, your hormones and everything make a woman change when they turn into being a mother. These physiological changes during pregnancy are probably the best studied part of motherhood. They are driven by hormones, tiny messengers that move around your body to start molecular cascade events that generally result in genes being switched on or off in specific cell types, causing changes in the proteins these cells are producing hence changes in cell function and an overall physiological change. Here we see how some key hormones change during pregnancy and their effects. And as amazing as these little molecules are at transforming a woman into a mother, many of these changes come at a cost. I spoke with psychologist Catherine Preston from the University of York and asked her to explain why. So there's quite a lot of different changes that are going on and these can have quite a large effect on how people feel about themselves. There's three key themes. So there's the appearance, feeling dissatisfied with the way they appear to other people in the kind of clothes that they have to wear, they're changing wardrobe or they're, they're developing bump being too small or too big. But there's also concerns about excess weight gain and also the physical burdens of pregnancy. So being frustrated that you can't do the same sort of things that you could do before that you were pregnant. And some of our research has shown that negative feelings about these kind of bodily changes during pregnancy can impact on the bond that's developing with the unborn baby. 
there are many things driving these kinds of negative feelings. Unfortunately, during pregnancy, you still don't get a letter from this sort of pressure of how you should appear. That is, magazines, the media, and the construction of the ideal woman and mother. Your physical state has such an obvious visual symbol, this baby bump, then people kind of, I don't know, they feel like they own it somehow, and so they, you know, a lot of the time people wouldn't comment on whether your body was large or small, but they feel free to do that when you're pregnant. And also they sometimes even feel free to touch the bump. Um, it feels like everyone seems to own your body. For me, it felt both incredibly empowering and extremely fragile to be consumed by another human in such an increasingly visible way. Gradually, we become mum before woman in a way that can feel uncomfortable if how people perceive us overrides who we feel we are. Pregnant first, woman second. We focus quite a bit on these negative aspects because we want to know how to help people and how to kind of put interventions in. But there was also a very positive experience during birth. So a lot of women reported feeling in awe of their bodies, feeling really proud that they were able to create this baby and, you know, women who then choose to go on to breastfeed, feeling in awe of the fact that their body is able to provide this food for their child to help them grow. So there's all these really nice positive aspects and we should help women to focus on those and the wonder of their body being able to do this. And I don't feel restful in myself and I have to fight to find inner peace and so I was complaining a bit to myself. So I also used to diary to complain or to put my complex feelings down sometimes and it was not always easy.